Is it just me, or has it been difficult finding good competitive ASUS motherboards? And maybe this one will change it, the ASUS Prime X870P Wi-Fi, which will cost you $250. I mean, it's in that kind of middle range as far as X870 motherboards go, so what do you get with it? Starting off with the VRM situation, here we have 14 plus 2 plus 1 phases rated at 80 amps, which is not as much as some other X870 motherboards we've seen, but still more than enough for literally any CPU, even the high-end ones, and especially when combined with two full 8 pins for CPU power, which is again pretty much to be expected this generation. And ASUS themselves rate the memory speeds on this motherboard at up to mega transfers per second with no CU DIMM support. Then moving on to the PC expansion, well, while I complained about the last ASUS motherboard we covered here, the TUF having just two PCIe slots, here they've gone in the complete other direction with a whopping four. Now unfortunately, as is the trend right now, now they're all 16x physically, there's no 1x slots, which really makes no sense because as we can all agree, 1x cards will always look better in 1x slots. Now the primary one here is of course a PC Gen 5 slot, and you also have three additional Gen 4 ones as well, with one lane each. And storage wise, hey, you do get 4 M.2, with one of them being Gen 5, though as is to be expected at this point, on X870 motherboards, PCIe lanes are kind of a luxury, and some of those PCIe slots will be disabled if you populate some of those M.2 slots and vice versa. It is a bit of a mess, so definitely read the footnotes so you're not left wondering why bits of your PC are just not working for some reason. And then, just like with the turf, you only get two SATA connectors. It was unacceptable with the price of that motherboard. board, with this one, it's still unacceptable, but at least they're paying less for it, so that's not a big victory, but at least it's something for ASUS. When it comes to the other internal connections, while well, we do have seven fan connectors, which is fine, but I would have preferred eight, and also three addressable RGB connectors, and once again, no regular old four pin non addressable ones, which I still think is a must for legacy devices. Anyway, turning that thing around to look at the rear I.O., here we do have eight USB Type-A ports, which is a pretty decent number this generation and about in line with, with what others are doing. And hey, at least you do have the two full speed, 40 gigabit per second Type-C ports as well, which I've loved seeing. Add to that HDMI for integrated graphics, then 2.5 gig Ethernet and Wi-Fi server for networking, and unfortunately just three audio jacks when no optical SPDIF, which again I'd say is just completely unacceptable in this day and age. Even if not many people need that many audio jacks, it's about a principle, okay? Why are we losing features even if not many people are using them while the prices of a motherboard continue to increase? But that's a conversation for another video. But the issue is I really have no idea what else to say about this one. It's just so inoffensive. It looks inoffensive and it functions very inoffensively. There's just nothing special that I can really pinpoint to and praise for the price. Especially seeing how guys like Azrock really spoiled us when it comes to how much can be achieved in a motherboard that costs less than this. Like that thing is actually insane. Make sure to check out that video up in the iCards. But if you still want to get this motherboard for some reason, then our Amazon and new links to it will be also up in iCards and down in the video description below. Where you're also going to find our Patreon because even a single dollar a month goes a long way in our mission of roasting every single motherboard in existence. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Elevronia, Baldish Volker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Sheen Allcroft, Level Up, and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.